Hi, this is Chef Andy. I'm making a grilled corn chowder that I'm going to do in one of the outdoor menus. So I'm grilling some corn right on that char griller. I'm going to try to get a pretty good grill on it. So I've taken the corn and I've removed the outer husk all the way down to about the outer layer. And then I'll only turn it maybe once as we go. I'm going to remove the kernels and use those in the chowder and I'll use the cob to make the stock for this for the uh, for the soup. All right, so this is Andy again. We're taking the kernels from our corn. We've taken our corn from the grill and it's roasted. We removed all the husk and the silt and I'm taking the kernels from the corn. I'm going to take the cob and roast it. Put it right in that right in that pot with a little bit of onion and some garlic and some water and a little salt and extract all that and we'll use that in the soup. I'll come back to you then when we start our mise en place. All right, so this is Chef Andy. This is the mise en place for our grilled corn chowder. We need some onion, some pepper, some celery, some potato, and some scallion. Remember the onions? We tap into the layers. We take the, bot take the tip of the knife to the bottom of the onion, making very thin slices all the way to the bottom of the onion. And once we give, taking our knife all the way through there, we can cut it once here and then dice it right off the end until I don't have a flat surface. Fold that over and finish my dice. The celery, we cut the celery in half, cut each half in half. motion we use with those onions right on through the celery. Then remember with the red peppers we use the four lobe pepper. Right? We want to tap into the sweetness of the pepper. We cut the ends off. We can cut the pepper in half. We can take the bulk of the pith out and then remove all the pith. Take that knife and get all that bitter pith out of there. All that bitterness from that pith will be removed. Once we get that pith out, we can take the knife and cut it into a fine julienne. And then our fine julienne into a brunoise. So we extracted the flavor from our cobs. We sauteed our vegetables, added a little flour, added that extracted flavor with a little bit of milk. We added all the rest of the ingredients and cooked it until those uh, potatoes are soft. We're gonna take that, put it right into our bowl, a couple good, garnish it with a little bit of our scallion, and we'll drizzle with some 